Mark. I thought it was a cool story, and yeah, it faxed it to everyone, and Mark was the one person who really responded to it. The combination of the Naval Academy and boxing just seemed like something really interesting in, in terms of the way it integrated with, you know, the difficulty, the, the sport as a metaphor for, you know, the difficulty of the Academy and for the difficulty of life. And just, you know, the simple notion of, you know, when you get knocked down, you got to get back up. Gage is the biggest event in this academy all year. You know why? There's a boxing ring. It's the only place in this academy where everybody's equal. The studio got excited, and um, and it was great because at that point, Dave and I just kind of just worked every day, you know, for for a good like five months to really kind of just go through everything and just and work with everybody to make sure it's the movie. When I met Justin, quickly, first thing he was like, yeah, I want, I've got a couple ideas and I want you to do them with me. And um, so he was incredibly collaborative as we went through the script. It was about a year and a half between, you know, Sundance and Better Luck Tomorrow and Annapolis. And, and you know, you're open to a whole new world of a business, of, of what it means to be a filmmaker in the business. And for me, it, it became very clear that there's certain movies that studios make and there's certain movies that the filmmakers want to make. But the only currency that I think works in that system is, you know, passion. We had watched Better Luck Tomorrow and we were just blown away. And we just, we thought, you know, he'd be the perfect guy for Annapolis. Um, he dealt with class issues in that story and he dealt with, he just did a lot of things that really surprised us. I mean, it was an original storyline. It was, you know, original performances, original, actors, I mean, he didn't have any crutches to lean on, you know? It just all fell together and it just felt almost voyeuristic, like you were watching real life in some way, and that's what we wanted for Annapolis, too. Cut! Cut! Very good. Let's do it again. The thing is that with Annapolis, I think everyone, you know, should be able to relate to Jake's journey, you know, because I think we've all gone through life and if we haven't already, we're always in, in search or, or, of who we are and, and how we're going to define ourselves, you know? And we can all relate to, you know, what Jake is going through. The trick was to find somebody who, you know, wasn't the typical pretty boy. Eight, nine, ten, we know. James Franco was easy uh, in the sense there weren't that many guys at that level who had the chops to do this, and everybody knew that about him right up front. You got a problem with the way this company's being run, Hewitt? Sir, no, sir. It seems like one of the, the major obstacles for people to, when they first arrive is being mentally fit. I mean, you, one has to really, you know, be able to follow orders. And, and, and in the beginning, I think your identity is kind of stripped in a way. I think his intensity ended up and his, his desire for this role, but just general work ethic ended up defining the whole production. I mean, everybody, he brought everybody up to his level. I've never seen that kind of dedication. I mean, I'm sure it's happened somewhere somehow, but there, I don't think there's probably anybody else, any working actor who's willing to go to the lengths that he's willing to go. I mean, it's, he, he is at the top of the list. Once in a while, we'd go over to the gym and just kind of watch him train. And uh, it was just really impressive, the transformation that he underwent, because he took it really seriously. It's almost like a sign of respect to the other people who are doing their things, Justin, myself, Mark, and Damien, the studio, saying, I know you guys are off you know, trying to make the script better, and I'm taking my role just as seriously. Do you understand me? Sir, yes, sir! I wanted Cole to be three-dimensional, and I wanted him to have a reason and a philosophy to what, uh, why he does what he does. Justin was very interested in making sure that we didn't have a twirling the mustache bad guy. And that's always important, that's always a hard thing. So when he and I went off into our hole, uh, he was very conscious of making sure that we understood where the character Cole was coming from and he wasn't just, you know, a bad guy whose dad wasn't nice to him or something, that you understood his motivations. Oh, no, Cole is not playing, man. 
Cole is not playing. That's what I'm saying. You know, sometimes when you go after things, God's got, God has something else in mind for you other than what you have in mind for yourself. So, yes, I went after Jake, and they actually were telling me, no, we, we see Jake as a white guy. He can't be black. We can't go black on Jake. And Cole was supposed to be a white guy. So I came in to do the audition, you know, and uh, they end up changing their mind. Tyrese, when he walks in a room, you know, it, he's a very interesting guy. He's very charismatic, you know, and every time the camera's on him, you want to you want to watch him and you want to see what's going on. You know, why is he doing what he's doing? You know, so it sets up for a really, you know, interesting kind of um, interaction between him and Jake. <laughs> You're not a prostitute. Uh, no, I, I, I am. But I'm really late for my next appointment, so. We did a screen test with Jordana, yeah. and Justin was really great about being able to articulate what he wanted. So a lot of, you know, what came after we cast were sort of adjustments in the script to fit the characters that Justin saw the actors evolving into. I read for Justin twice, because I read the script and I absolutely loved it. So um, originally I, went, I read for Justin, and then I came in and read with James for chemistry, because I guess that was pretty important, given that I'm one of the only girls in the project. And so, I mean, that made me want the project all the more, because he's such a great actor. Jab's good, straight right's pretty crisp. Yeah, you look like a girl, though. The Ali character wasn't quite as realized on the page, and Jordana did a good job of really kind of adding stuff there with Justin's help. Justin was very clear that he wanted time to prepare with the actors and he wanted four weeks he wanted to, to go to rehearsals. Early. Come on, race it back straight. You can do it. I know you can. Another reason why we wanted two weeks of boot camp was to get our actors, our talent, into as best shape as they can. I should see Estrada. Anytime you want to get the program, you must follow me. Your thumb is between the parade swing and the stop. The parade swing should be facing the ground. Your elbows need to be locked in. Your arms need to be straight out. Jay, why is your thumb wrong? In between your sling and in be no kidding. Keep them up. Yeah, it was incredible. So with Scott Carson, uh, him coming on and really just, you know, going through the boot camp with the actors and also just with the extras. Scott was great. He was like the, you know, the gut check when we needed to know how accurate we were being and how far our creative storytelling was going. He really kept us within the lines. Face that way, doing curls. One, two, three. I'm a Navy grad myself, class of 1991, um, and know that, at least in military films, that they need to be as accurate as possible. One, two, three. One, two, three. Three. There were a couple times during production where Scott was able to tell Justin, ah, oh, this is how they would do something, or this word sounds better, like the pokey bait scene where they catch twins with contraband. Like, uh, Scott called it pokey bait. You know, I never could have come up with a word like that in a million years. I just called it contraband or something like that. What is this? Restricted diet? means no pokey bait, twins. So it's those small touches. Even though you don't know what it means, you totally get it, and it kind of draws you into the world. There's a scene where everybody's out doing drills in the rain, and originally, Cole is holding an umbrella, yelling, shouting out the drills, and Scott said, commanding officer would never hold an umbrella. He'd be standing there with them. So. Out goes the umbrella. Next thing you know, poor Tyrese is standing in the rain for the next three hours. Everybody on your feet! Everyone but Heward is dismissed. You know, with the recruit training, it was the it was a request of the producers to, to try and assemble a group of kids that uh, could be believable as plebes at the end of plebe year. You know, to try and do that in a week and a half is interesting. So I think we kind of limited what we were trying to teach them. And from the get-go, really tried to instill in them the, uh, the spirit of camaraderie, the spirit of Navy, the spirit of trying to take pride in what you do. And as a leader of that, you had the ability to influence how loud they get and how motivated they get, because the more excited you get about it, the more excited they get. You know, every now and then throwing in a, 
a disappointing tone and say, oh, no, you're better than that. Let's go, let's go. You know, try to motivate them that way because they're people. You know, they, they are human and they respond to human nature. Do you understand? So yes, sir! Do you understand? So yes, sir! Do you understand? So yes, sir! These guys all were pretty incredible. Nobody during this production went back to their trailers, you know, after their their work was done. It was, everybody sat around the set, hung out together all day long, every day. It's been tremendous. We're all in this together. We're all working on this. There's, there's no fighting. We've all faced challenges, you know, in our different ways, you know, in our different capacities and get through them. And I mean, we've just been an incredible movie to work on. Great life experience. Being a filmmaker, the best thing to be able to wake up early in the morning, show up on set and work with people you love and just work hard.